Good evening and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to jailbreak iOS 16.4.1 on all your supported devices such as this iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 8, iPhone 10 or any device that is using the A11 processor. The method shown in this video is completely free. This method may work on iOS 16.5 or higher also. So if it works, I will update it in the description for you. Now to jailbreak iOS 16.4.1 right on your Windows computer, we will be using this custom Palenix ISO file as you can see it right here. You will find it in the description or in the pinned comment very easily. Next, you will need Rufus to flash it onto your flash drive. I will show you how it is very easy to do. Also, as you can see, Palenix is completely open source and completely free software. So first of all, head to the official website for Rufus. Rufus is also completely free. Scroll down and get Rufus from here. Now simply attach a USB flash drive and now open Rufus. As you can see it right here, I'm using this 2GB USB flash drive. You can use any higher capacity USB flash drive. Doesn't matter. Now simply drag and drop the custom Palenix ISO file onto Rufus. And you will see this message that the DD image mode will be enforced because it is an ISO hybrid image. Now just hit OK and you don't have to change anything here. Hit start. OK and wait for the process to complete here. So the process is complete and you will see ready here. Now we will reset the computer and boot from this USB flash drive to jailbreak our device. Alright so guys, after rebooting your computer, head to the boot manager and here you will find your USB flash drive that we have just created. Hit enter on it and let Palenix load. You will see the progress and you will see the menu right here. Now simply attach your iPhone or iPad via USB cable. You will see this trust message. Please hit trust to avoid errors. Now simply hit Palerain, then hit options. And here you can choose between creating the fake FS, which will take about 10 GB of space, or you can use bind FS, which will take about 5 GB of space on iOS 16. All right, so I will go with fake FS. So just hit the spacebar and it will be selected. Now hit enter and now simply hit start and your device will go into recovery mode. And from here, we will get it into GFU by simply following the instructions on screen. Press enter and we will get it into GFU now. You can simply follow the instructions on screen. It is very easy. All right. so. As you can see, the progress on your device will be shown and a fake FS or bind FS will be created. So please wait until this process is complete. Also, you can go to options and you can also use the rootless method if you don't want to use this rootful method. So please hang on here and wait for the process to complete. Now guys, after this process completes, for creating the fake FS or bind FS, your device will reboot in normal mode. As you can see it here, my device booted up in normal mode. I will not see the Palerain loader yet. What I will do is press enter here, then go to options and make sure that create fake FS or bind FS is not selected this time. And then hit start and the device will again go to recovery mode, get it into DFU from here. And here you can see the progress on your device. The device will boot into the jailbroken state. All right. All right. And now when your device boots up, you will see the Palerain loader here. I will show you how to use it. But first we will go back to Windows. Now to go back to Windows, just hit enter to quit, exit, reboot. And now simply remove the USB flash drive that you have created. All right. So here is the USB flash drive.
all right so guys we are back on windows and you can see my device here and we have this new pale ring loader you can see it is the new pale ring loader light it is a bit different and it is very easy to use you can go to utilities and see that i'm using this rootful jailbreak and the version 16.4.1 and everything here you can have these options also we have openers which you can use to open the package managers and to install package manager just hit one of them so i will go with Cilio. make sure that wi-fi is connected so please wait while it is complete all right so once complete you will see this message hit close and then you will see Cilio on your home screen so first of all let's see the version i use 16.4.1 iphone 8 plus so it is the new version of Cilio, and you can see that you can refresh every source without any problem and we have some new updates so let's complete them and to show you that it works all right so done and you can see everything is working just fine also i will try installing something like cylinder reborn to show you that tweaks are working so i will quickly install it all right guys always allow restart springboard all right so i am back after a respring and you can see the tweak cylinder reborn is working just fine it is a completely free tweak that you can try so this means that tweaks are working just fine with it the heating issues are also solved so my device is not heating up like it did before and the new pale rain loader light is a welcome change that's all for this video guys if you still have questions you can always ask in the comment section i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself